Well, Molly, the good vibe uh, here at the ballpark continues. Down 6-2, still can't stop your team in this in this park. Yeah, it was nice to see us come back. Um, I don't know how many unanswered runs we ended up scoring there, but it was a good run. Um, you know, we put a couple early AD dump one out there to give us a couple points. And, um, you know, Steven's still having trouble um, showing enough command with his pitches to give him, a, give him a chance to be a little bit more successful. You know, the extra base runners and um, and some mistakes and getting behind kind of caught up with him there, so we, we couldn't go too long. And the bullpen was outstanding, other than, you know, Boost kind of center cutting a fastball there on Perez. You know, the guys we brought in all did a nice job, you know, putting up the zeros the last half of the ball game. Kind of a long affair, but it's good when you come back and, and win when you, you know, fall behind and giving up six runs in one particular inning. Off a day off, first of six here at home, is it difficult to pull a guy that early and, and put that kind of pressure on your bullpen this weekend? Uh, thank God for September. You know, we, we, get, we have a lot of fresh people coming off the off day and the amount of people that we have. So that, that helps, um, you know, make your decisions a little easier to go ahead and, and, and turn it over a little bit more quickly than you might at another time of the season. With Steven, is there something you're seeing that he needs to do just a little bit better to not have the walks, not get behind on the count? Um, well, we, we, he's capable. I mean, he's had some stretches earlier this year in particular down there where, you know, he was able to pitch around some of the command issues that he had. Um, you know, the walks per nine for the season weren't particularly good, but, you know, his numbers overall, he, he found a way. But up here, the margin of error is a little different, you know, and, and um, you got guys that are going to battle with two strikes and they're not going to expand as much as maybe down there, and, and some of those small differences make it, diff you know, play out differently up here. One of the big rallies you have tonight starts against the shift with a bunt single. That's got to make you feel good. Um, yes. It, you know, I, I told the guys, uh, I, it was a long inning, but I went down the, the row and said, remember how it started, you know, because... I'm a big proponent of taking advantage, especially when you're behind and you need base runners. Um, you know, Polanco is one guy more than willing to try. I, I flashed a little sign that look around, and you know, he saw it and took advantage, and he got in a good spot, and, and we kind of took off from there. Adrian, Adrian's up playing third base and, and providing some offense. Yeah. Another one of those players that you kind of overlook sometimes, but his versatility has been great. Well, he's he's done a nice job overall, and I do think playing around the way he does, um, you know, helps. You know, we got Miggy down here for kind of a day-to-day -day situation, and he can step in there. Um, you know, got a little lucky on the first one, but he hit a bullet there to right field and dropped a bunt later down in the game as well. Um, yeah, o overall, I, I think those are the kind of guys you need. Maybe not so much when you can expand rosters, but especially when you're playing with a three-man bench. Carver with a couple of ground outs uh, that bring in runs, and that's maybe not always been his, his strength or the team's strength. Yeah, uh, you know, the first time, you know, he just two strikes, he poked them towards the middle. We got a good read, and I think Logan scored on that particular one. And it's just, you know, it's one of those things I think he's learning. He's hit some balls to, to the third baseman in those situations where you can't score, and, and when they're playing back in the middle of the field, is an opportunity. Um, just got to change your, change your approach just a little bit, but that, that's how you capitalize on those situations with men on third and less than two outs. Frustrated with the pop up, so it must have been kind of a relief when he yeah. came up well, in the ninth. Eight. You know, not to get long winded, the, the seems like it always happens. A guy comes back from a leg injury and he's got to try to leg one out, and the first ball he puts in play. And I was concerned and had talked to him, I, and he said that he was okay, that he just didn't want to risk trying to max out there on the, on the, on the ground out. Uh, you know, he was a little ginger on a base hit when he was on first going to second, but he, he kept reassuring me that he'll let me know if he couldn't go and stuck around long enough to get a nice opposite field hit there against the shift as well. And then, and then you know, I don't know if he was sitting on that slide or in that last at bat, but it went far.